Catal, who is world's largest electric vehicle battery producer and a major Tesla battery supplier, says it has a new battery and that new battery is already in production. Catal chief scientist says energy dense M3P batteries are already in production and they will debut next year. Did you notice it's energy dense? Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com and I'm going to tell you all about that. So, following reports out of China earlier this month, battery a huge um, battery producer cattle has confirmed the production of its m3p batteries that will deliver next year although the chemistry may be similar cattle has said the m3p batteries vary from lithium manganese iron phosphate cells contemporary Empress technology that means cattle is a global energy technology company and the leading electric vehicle battery manufacturer in china it's the world's largest battery electric battery manufacturer beyond asia the company has retained its crown as the world's largest battery manufacturer by installed capacity for a fifth straight year this is how huge this company is, company is if you're not familiar in case i'm mispronouncing cattle's it's spelled c-a-t-l so earlier this month rumors began to surface about cattle's m3p batteries which were briefly mentioned by the battery company in february amongst other upcoming technologies like sodium ion batteries the initial assumption was that cattle's m3p chemistry was that of lms FP. As local Chinese media said, the chemistry had passed interim tests earlier year and earlier this year, and cattle would now be sending samples to car makers for further testing. So who is going to test it? I assume Tesla will be one of them because cattle is a major, major Tesla battery supplier. As CNEV Post pointed out, a source close to cattle's investor relations team revealed a day later that the company is in fact developing its M3P batteries, but their chemistry is different from that of an LMFP battery. Now, Cattle has officially come out and confirmed just that, although we don't know much else about the M3 batteries, so we need to kind of uh, wait and see. But M3 batteries, M3P batteries should cost less than LMFP battery chemistry, uh, and this means your next Tesla or your next electric vehicle should come down in price considering uh, that uh, uh, inflation is settled down like Elon Musk said recently uh, talking about when Tesla prices will come down. Now at the 2022 World EV and ES battery conference in China yesterday cattle chief scientist Wu Kai said the M3P batteries have already reached volume production and will hit the market in 2023. Cattle chairman Robin Zheng also briefly mentioned the M3P batteries for the first time since February, but offered no additional details. So take some patience. Patience is a good thing, friends, and wait until next year. Now, what we have learned from investigative reports in China following the misreported news, misreported news of the M3P batteries containing LMFP chemistry is that the former are similar, but not quite. Cattle says the M3P cells also contain other metallic elements not present in LMFPs. That means this is what probably makes it more energy dense, which is very important. More energy dense means more energy. That means longer range for your electric vehicle. And future electric vehicles need to have more range. We should target 500, 700, 1000 miles per single charge. This is where the technology is going. Now, company prefers to refer to the company, to the upcoming this battery technology as a ternary lithium battery of the phosphate chemistry system, um, according to a report from GasGu. Regardless of what makes up the M3P batteries, they are promised to deliver greater energy density than lithium iron phosphate batteries that Tesla is using now in its M M M Model 3 in China, but at cost parity with ternary 
lithium cells. That means for a same cost, we're going to have better energy dense batteries. Now, we don't yet know what that official density will be, but of comparison, LMFP batteries have a theoretical energy density that's 20 to 20, uh, 15 to 20% higher than LFP batteries, but at a similar price point. Whatever cattle is doing differently in its proprietary M3P batteries, it appears to have helped keep costs down. A big plus for electric vehicle innovation and hopefully less expensive EVs in the future. More details are sure to come as cattle looks to scale its latest battery technology to market next year. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com friends. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and let me know what you think about cattle's new batteries and what are your expectations for the batteries of the future and so what do you expect a electric vehicle, an electric vehicle in 2025 to have in terms of range? 500 miles, 700 miles, 1,000 miles, or is it too early for 1,000 miles? Let me know, friends, in the comment section below, and let's move on to our next Tesla story. Tesla just revealed a good news and bad news about its battery production. I mean, the 4680 battery production. There is a bright side, however. So Tesla announced yesterday that it aims to start 4680 battery cell production at Gigafactory Texas this quarter and quickly ramp up to volume production by the end of the year. Over the last few months, Tesla has been fairly quiet about the production of its new 4680 battery cell that enables its new structural battery pack design. This has been a concern for Tesla investors since the new battery technology is seen as critical to Tesla's future vehicle programs. The concerns grew larger as the automaker launched Model Y production at Gigafactory Berlin with the old architecture based on 2170 cells and after launching Model Y production at Gigafactory Texas with 4680 cells. It recently added the production of Model Y vehicles with the old architecture at the Austin factory also. Everything pointed to Tesla having major issues ramping up production of the new and much bigger battery cells with which we had lots of hopes of energy density and bigger range. Much of Tesla's conference called yesterday with analysts and shareholders for the release of its quarter through 2020 financial results resolved around, actually revolved around the 4680 cell. The automaker confirmed that it is having issues ironing out production processes for new technologies in the cell, including its dry electro technology. That's the bad news. Tesla wouldn't confirm its current 4680 cell production rate, but it did confirm that it is still not enough to produce 1000 vehicles per week, which would put the annual production capacity at less than 4 gigawatt hour, but it aims to achieve that well before the end of the year. That was a quote, well before the end of the year. On the bright side, which is the good news, Drew Baglino, Tesla's senior vice president, powertrain and engineer, energy engineering, confirmed that the automaker plans to officially start production of the 4680 cell at Gigafactory Texas this quarter. That's the good news. Here is the quote. Manufacturing lines were further integrated and we insourced additional content. For this reason, there are some new ramp challenges to overcome in Texas and Berlin, specific to Texas last quarter. Cell equipment was fully installed and commissioned and we produced our first commissioning car sets of cells through the end of the line. Our target for Texas is to begin production this quarter and aim for Texas to be capable of exceeding Cato weekly output before the end of this year. End of the good. Cato refers to Tesla's current pilot production factory for the 4680 cell on Cato Road in Fremont, California. At this Torque News channel, I've had lots of reports about how things were going at Cato Road facility in Fremont, California, which is just a few blocks away from Tesla's Fremont factory. The fact that Tesla plans for 4680 cell production at Gigafactory Texas to exceed production from the Cato facility by the end of the year is 
particularly impressive considering the automaker also disclosed today that production in Cato increased 35 percent month over month each month since March Tesla always meant to learn from the production at the pilot facility and deployed more advanced and higher volume production lines in both Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin what do you think friends about all these things and the good side good um, part and the bad part now the good thing is tesla aims to start 4680 battery cell production at gigafactory texas this quarter do you expect longer range teslas after that this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla and electric vehicle news ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and i'll see you soon in our next report